Hi guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today we're going to be doing some thrust tests on the Cobra CM2204 2300kb motors. At the time of purchase these cost me £17.50 each. Let's take a quick look into the motor and its windings. Here I'm checking for any plate in the shaft or bearings. I know that Mr Steel has been complaining about this a lot lately. To get slightly better results compared to my last video I'm going to velcro it down to the bench. We're going to use an average quadcopter weight of 600 grams divided by the four motors equals 150 grams hover. All tests will be repeated with a 3 cell 45 to 90C and a 4 cell 45 to 90C. The HQ5030 gave us 2.20 amps, 27.3 watts, giving us an efficiency of 5.49 grams per watt. Now full power on free cell. So a 5030 prop on 3S full power gave us 331 grams, 6.21 amps, 76.3 watts, giving us an efficiency of 4.10 grams per watt. Now the same full power test but on 4 cell. The 4 cell test gave us 459 grams of thrust, 7.76 amps, 127.2 watts and an efficiency of 3.60 grams per watt. Now let's try HQ5040 on this Cobra motor. Again we're going to use a freshly charged 3 cell 45 to 90C. Our 5040 hover test gave us 2.18 amps, 27.4 watts and an efficiency of 5.47 grams per watt. When compared to the hover test of the 5030, that works out at only a 0.02 loss of efficiency. Now let's do a free cell full power test with the 5040. The 5040 fresh full power test gave 379 grams thrust, 7.56 amps, 91.8 watts and an efficiency of 4.12 grams per watt. Now a 4 cell power test. The 5040 4S full power test gave 546 grams of thrust, 8.96 amps, 143 watts and an efficiency of 3.81 grams per watt. Now let's try the DAL5040. The DAL5040 150g hover test gave 2.65 amps, 32.9 watts and an efficiency of 4.55 grams per watt. Now a free cell full power test. The DAL5043 S full power test gave 341 grams, 7.85 amps, 95.3 watts and a not so great efficiency of 3.57 grams per watt. Now 4S. The DAL5044 S full power test gave 491 grams of thrust, 9.04 amps, 144.2 watts and the worst grams per watt rating of 3.40. Now let's try the HQ5040 Tripod on free cell. The 5040 Triprop on free cell gave us 2.56 amps, 31.8 watts and an efficiency of 4.71 grams per watt. The Triprop 3S full power test gave 427 grams of thrust, 8.67 amps, 104.4 watts and an efficiency level of 4.09 grams per watt. And finally, the 4 cell triprop full power test. The results for the HQ5040 4S full power test are 591 grams of thrust, 9.01 amps, 
143.7 watts and an efficiency of 4.11 grams of thrust per watt. So down to the results. The results of the free cell hover efficiency was 4th place DAL 5040 with 4.55 grams per watt, 3rd place HQ Triprop 5040 with 4.71 grams per watt, 2nd place the HQ 5040 with 5.47 grams per watt and in 1st place is the HQ 5030 with 5.49 grams per watt. Now we move on to the maximum amount of thrust produced with the free cell battery. The HQ 5030 produced 313 grams of thrust. The DAL 5040 produced 341 grams, the HQ 5040 produced 379 grams, and the HQ 5040 Triprop produced 427 grams. It's worth me saying that I'm not trying to put these propellers into competition with each other. It's more of an information for you guys to make up your own mind on what propeller you want to use with this particular motor. So let's move on to the 4 cell full power max thrust results. The HQ 5030 done 459 grams. The DAL 5040 done 491 grams, the HQ 5040 done 546 grams, and the HQ 5040 Triprop done a massive 591 grams of thrust. So there are the results for the CM2204 2300kV Cobra motors. As I mentioned earlier, each of these propellers are going to produce different results because of their pitch and amount of propellers. Everybody flies with different setups, so that's why I'm using different types of propellers. Also, people use different types of batteries, that's why I used 3 cell and 4 cell. So take what you can from these results to either build yourself a nice efficient machine or a power thirsty crazy ass quad.